one week after Indian troops are pushed back. China at the Galwan Valley, the Chinese government continues to bury the truth. Social media analysis of Chinese Weibo has shown that netizens are angry over the suppression of news on the Chinese casualties. We are going to play out shots of the Weibo chats that we are showing for our viewers to show just how far China has, remember, so far only confirmed that there have been casualties, but they have not released either their number or their names. Now, this is in sharp contrast to India. We are going to show you visuals of the funerals which have been carried out with full state honours. The Prime Minister himself has come out and grieved their deaths, vowed to avenge their sacrifice. Not only have their names been released, but they have been cremated with full state honours. That leaves the Chinese asking now, what happened to our dead? Let me go across to Srinjar Chaudhary, our national affairs editor, our senior editor, Pradeep Datta, is also joining us. Pranesh, as well as Athar, will be joining us shortly. Meanwhile, Srinjar, if I can come to you first. This is a question that people in China are wondering, especially when India's full state honours which have been bestowed upon our martyrs, the way the Prime Minister himself has come out, grieved their dead, vowed to avenge their sacrifices. What's happening on the Chinese front so far? Well, this is the price you pay for having an opaque government. Uh, if you do not have a democracy, uh, well, there are certain problems with democracy. But for all its problems, as someone once said, that uh, democracy is probably the best uh, solution for a country. Now, China does not have uh, the kind of de Western-style democracy. Uh, so therefore, uh, just think, let's say there has been one casualty. There are 100 people, perhaps 1,000 people, who know their sons, their husbands, or their brothers are, in, generally speaking, in the area, and they have not got back. So all these 1,000 families are wondered, is that casualty uh, from our household. So this is the level of uncertainty, and that uncertainty has seeped into the social media. Because at the end of the day, you can hide something for days, for months, but as someone said, you can't fool all the people all the time. So this is exactly the price you pay for not being a true democracy, for being an opaque society. There are thousands of soldiers there, and many have died, many have been wounded. Now, the government has not bothered to tell the people of China how many casualties there have been, how many fatal casualties there have been. So if you don't do that, if you don't pay respect and honors to an honor, uh, you honor your soldiers who have died in battle for your country, then you come to a situation when the people will think that why are we sending our soldiers to the army? When they die, they aren't even given proper honors. That's the first thing. And of course, the news of uh, bad news, you might as well tell the world about it, tell the families about it first. Absolutely. Because if you do, then at least while it is bad, it is worse if you don't, because there are thousands of families. Let's, and let's not forget that there are they have been in Chinese denial again and again through their own mouthpieces, such as Global Times. They have been coming out with half truths, full lies. Let me go across to Pranesh. Pranesh, if you can tell us how they are carrying out a disinformation campaign online. I want to add to what Shrinjoy said that you can't fool all the people all the time. For the last uh, few days, uh, we have. Uh, been calling out the Chinese propaganda machinery and uh, Global Times, the lead Chinese mouthpiece, has been pegging lies after lies after lies. This is their latest tweet. This, they, they're saying the reason why China did not release casualties number is that China also wants to avoid an escalation. If China releases the number, which is less than 20, the Indian government would again come under pressure. This is what they're saying. The truth is, Meghna, that the Chinese are under pressure and from their own. For the first time, you have uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Chinese uh, netizens erupting on social media and voicing their concerns. They want the government there to follow India. And I'm quoting one of the uh, messages on uh, their uh, 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 social media platform that, that says, follow India, salute your soldiers. 
come out with transparency. That's the kind of sentiment that's brewing in uh, Beijing. And uh, this uh, peddling of half-truths and misleading and propaganda is only, you know, going to work for a certain amount of time. After that, you will have this situation like the Chinese are facing their own people asking answers from the government. Absolutely. Athar, if I can bring you in, that is the difference between a democracy and an autocracy that we have seen in China vis-a-vis -vis what we can witness, the honor which has been given to our braves. But tell me, that has been the long-standing stance of China to treat their martyrs as an embarrassment. We've seen it at the time of 62 as well. Oh, absolutely right. Now, there is uh, an old saying, as uh, Sinjoy was telling us right now, I'll tell you uh, one, more t uh, one more time, uh, China, of course, is not a democracy. We all know that. The fact that they've changed their tune within uh, a span of say, 8 to 10 days, uh, Meghna also tells us why they're trying to bury the truth. At first, after the Galwan clash, we saw on Chinese social media, we saw mouthpieces like Global Times and others come out and suggest that China is not releasing the number of their injured and dead for one separate reason. What was that reason immediately after Galwan? That the Chinese did not want to elicit an emotional response from the Chinese public because that would be bad for India. Uh, all of a sudden that has changed. If you see the Global Times right now, as Pranesh was pointing out, now that reason seems to have changed. Now they say that because uh, ostensibly they have less casualties than India, that is why they don't want to uh, uh, open up the figures. So clearly their story has changed in, a, in less than a week. That would also indicate that they were lying to start with. Also, the fact that the Chinese, of course, don't really care for the number of their casualties is quite evident uh, by the fact that they've uh, not released the numbers. But their story changing, to my mind, Meghna, in less than a week, is the biggest proof that they were, in fact, hiding something from the very beginning. Adhar, stay with us. What you can see on your screens right now are screenshots that we are showing to our viewers from Vivo. That is, of course, equivalent to one of the social media sites which we have in India. Of course, all of that is completely banned considering it's not a democracy. It's all banned in China. If you are there, enter their soil, then you cannot access any of the social media chats, uh, platforms such as uh, WhatsApp, be it uh, Twitter or Facebook. What you can use is Vivo. And these are the screenshots that we are getting for you. What they've been doing, the netizens there have been retweeting these visuals of all the Indian martyrs saying look at the way that India has honored their braves. Remember the Prime Minister himself and let me bring in Pradeep Datta. The Prime Minister himself came out two days later and he honored their sacrifice even vowed their uh, vowed to avenge their deaths. That's the difference. So far we've not even heard from Xi Jinping. Yes, Mina, you're absolutely right. There is a difference between China and India because China is an authoritarian regime and we have seen that they have been suppressing facts from ever since China came into existence. We have seen this thing happening in 1989 in Tiananmen Square also when thousands of the students who were protesting in Beijing, they were killed by army tanks. But till date, nobody has disclosed how many people had died, who were the people who got killed. And the same system, uh, systematic strategy they are adopting at this stage also. And it is in contrast to what exactly is happening in India. The Indian Prime Minister coming and saying that they are not going to forgive, neither are they are going to forget the supreme sacrifice, all these 20 brave hearts who lost their lives while fighting with the Chinese troops and defending the frontiers of the country. On the other hand, see, you rightly said, with full military honor, they had been in fact paying homage to all these soldiers, while as China, they are yet to disclose the number of the people got killed. The reason being, one, it is obvious that ha China would not have come on the talking table had their people not died. They would have been dictating terms to India. But immediately after that violent clash in Galwan Valley, we saw that China was the one who was interested in having dialogue with India and they wanted that immediately there should be commander level talks so that the tension can be diffused. Because they very well know that more than 40 to 45 people have lost their lives in China because at the stage where we have seen that how they had been using psychological warfare, the media machinery and propaganda to show their people that they are dominant the scene. But the reality has been totally different. People will be asking them question, if you are dominating, how come so many people got killed? And if people got killed, why you are not releasing the names? And if you are not releasing the names, at least the family members have the right to know who are their near and dear ones who lost their lives. We saw the similar thing happening in Kargil Heights, also the, what Pakistan did. That time also they didn't disclose who many, how many people got killed. Many of the bodies had been Absolutely. lying for days together. It was the Indian troops who finally uh, paid uh, the last performed last rites of those soldiers. They buried their bodies. Pakistan had been doing and their all-weather friend China has also been doing because how long they will continue with this suppression and denial because in today's world where there
there is a social media it is not this easy is to just hide. a step forward from the, forward from the denial that they've always lived in isn't it a quick word from mohit but also who's uh, mohit uh, sharma i beg your pardon who's also joining with us uh, mohit we have general vk singh who's come out and said if we've lost 20 they have lost double that number us intel report says at least 35 casualties have been reported from chinese side lieutenant general narsimhan who's the national security advisor board member he himself has predicted that 15 to 17 chinese have been killed in this clash do you think that's what's really irking the people on the ground that indian media has been so very transparent the government's been so very transparent when it comes to the brief but when it comes to chinese all they are interested in hiding what really happened Well, absolutely, Meghna. You know, that's exactly the point that I would like to begin with. That in India, you know, it was a very clear cut, uh, you know, uh, from the government side that, uh, you know, our 20 men, we have lost 20 of our men. They have, uh, you know, made that supreme sacrifice in, line, in the line of duty. But uh, despite the fact that, you know, the US intel, despite the fact that the Indian agencies and despite the fact that, uh, you know, the, the, uh, uh, the uh, international community has also been saying that China, in fact, lost his men as, as well uh, during that uh, confrontation that happened in the Galwan Valley. The Chinese government has uh, refused to believe that, has refused to come out with a statement. Taking forward right. what Arthur was also pointing out, that initially, you know, there was, a, there, was a, a, there was an excuse being given by the Chinese government that essentially it was because of the fact that they did not want to incite any emotions why they weren't releasing any numbers. But soon after that, you know, the, the statements which came in from the Chinese government said that they absolutely did not have any sort of casualties. And now, once again, you know, they, they have retracted to that and gone back to the fact that, you know, there may have been certain casualties, but uh, definitely they do not want to say them out loud because uh, that could further escalate things between India and, and uh, China. But what's of importance here is the fact that the people of China know the real truth. They, in fact, are in, uh, coming out and now questioning the government uh, government uh, 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 of, the, of the day at this particular How point. How long did the Chinese raised, uh, government know, try uh, their, their and voices. bury the truth? And Colonel very... Arasan Singh is also joining us, now a strategic analyst. This is what happens, isn't it, Colonel? When Indian braves have shown their might, now the Chinese government is being questioned by their own men. Why can't we treat our martyrs the way India does? No, have you got any figures from China on any issue so far? Absolutely none. Not even has for the 62 uh, war. Has, has, no, no, no. Has the Chinese uh, come out with their figures as far as COVID is concerned? Mm -hmm. So they are the pro, they are the progenitors of this corona. Huh? So you have not... What is? Uh, have you got any figures from Xinjiang? Have you got any figures about anything... Uh, do you have correct figures about their defense budget? So you will never, these people, they not only look in, inscrutable, they are, they are also inscrutable people uh, in, 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 in their, their approach to life and behavior. But let me tell you, I mean, uh, sooner or later people will prevail. But uh, unfortunately, we cannot wait for people to prevail. You know, I don't know. The, I mean, that may be a wishful thinking. Right. So you have to fact. You have to fact. How long say, can they you know? keep the truth buried? Is the point, isn't it? Thank you so much, Colonel Singh, for joining us. Uh, with that, we are slipping into a short break. Thank you so much, uh, Mohit Sharma, Athar, uh, Pradeep Datta, as well as Shrinjoy Chaudhary and Pranesh for joining us with those insights.